Northgate line to Westgate line, you're going to have a gentleman walking towards your blue shirt waistcoat. If you could let him out, please come to the wrong exit. Ironically, because we've got head doors here, you don't really have one unders. Within the first year of me working here, a gentleman come down the escalator and a massive heart attack, <laughs> dropped dead, smashed his face off the head doors. 40 minutes before an ambulance service got here, 30 minutes we was trying to do CPR, uh, save this guy's life. He ended up dying and it was just before Christmas. And um, it hit me pretty hard, not because I mean, he wasn't really an old guy and he was quite fit and everything, but it was just the fact that he was coming up to Christmas and he died. I was sitting there thinking, God, I can't let this man. So I held his hand. It was it was really awful, but I held his hand because, and I said to the police when they was like taking our information, I went, please just let his family know that he didn't die by himself. That someone held his hand and talked to him and said his name because I do not want them to think that their father, their husband, their brother died on an empty platform with people all around him and no one caring. Uh, I was 17 when I had my daughter. Teenage mum. Teenage mum. A worse kind. Lived on an estate and everything. <laughs> Smoking and swearing. All I needed was a litre of vodka in my hand and I would have been way net a slob. <laughs> Went into the Vatican, done the tour. Not a religious person whatsoever saw the statue of Mary and Jesus and just the hairs on the back of my neck went up and I just had tears in my eyes. I don't know whether it was a, a maternal thing even, the fact that she's holding her son and he's died and but I'm, I mean I'm always quick to moan about the Bible in any case but my neighbour upstairs funny enough she she always calls me Audrey Hepburn because yeah. of my cheekbones and my long neck and my daughter has got exactly the same but she's extremely beautiful she's absolutely stunning because my cheeks are so big, especially when I smile, I'm like poor man's version of Julia Roberts. <laughs> so my face to me feels out of proportion. But yeah, you get all walks here. You get from the very poor to the very pissed to the very rich. Because <laughs> I've got such full lips. Not a lot of white people have such full lips, apart from possibly Angelina Jolie. She's getting paid a shitload more money than I am for these lips. <laughs> <laughs>